in the early morning hours of Sunday, September 1st of this year, a little over a month ago, defenseless people in Camp Ashroff were attacked. They were assaulted. The camp was invaded by people who were committing an act of terror against the people in Camp Ashroff. You have seen the videos. I've seen them. I've seen the photographs. And you can tell by the photographs of the brutality of this act. They weren't just killed. They were brutalized. And those that survived the first gunshots were taken and assassinated against the people in that camp. Spef specific individuals were not assassinated, not because the outlaws spared them for any reason, except to capture them, hold them hostage, and then brutally interrogate them, which is what has happened to seven of those individuals. Someday, those people will be captured that committed this act of terror. And what ought to happen to them is they ought to be tried on an international scene for war crimes. Yes. That's what ought to happen to these individuals. You know, missing in action was the Iraqi security force. They have the moral and legal duty to protect the camp. Well, where were they? Well, I, I surmise they were probably having lunch with the, Ira or the Iranian government. This ought to upset the world conscience about the time we live in 2013 bring the perpetrators to justice. Yes. But also, as we have said on the previous attacks, do not let this happen again. But yet, we preach that. There's a crime. People are killed. Whether it's Ashraf or Liberty, we bring attention to it. We say it's, a, it's awful. But it happens again. Bring the perpetrators to justice. This is it. Today is the day of accountability. This is too much. So the world, Iraq, the United States, the United Nations must present outrage and accountability for what has happened to these people. You know, uh, the Ashraf residents by the UNHCR, are designated as asylum seekers. Let them get asylum. Of course, we're still giving money to Iraq. American money. We're shut down. It's interesting. The government shut down. We've cut back spending over here in the United States, but we're still sending money to Iraq. If I had my way, no more money to Iraq, because until we get an accountability of what happened to these people, <laughs> we just make it clear you're not getting any more American money, Mr. President Maliki, unless there's an accountability to who did this, and second, to ensure that these people are safe. Yes. Is that too much to ask before you get American money? It is not too much to ask. So let's stand our ground on this. <laughs> Myself and uh, 33 other members of the House have written a letter to Secretary Kerry uh, informing him that it is our request that we cut off aid, stop aid to Iraq until there's accountability. Uh, I've also written a letter to uh, Secretary General Moon asking him to do all he can to get the UN to actually protect the people that have not been killed in Iraq, the Iranians. My own opinion is the Iraqi government and certainly the Iranian government are in cahoots 
you'll have to look that word up in the dictionary. We say that in Texas. They're in cahoots together to make sure that the people in Camp Ashroth and Camp Liberty are persecuted. And I believe they were both involved in this latest raid. That's my opinion. So let's find out who did it. Let's make sure that the people are protected. The voices of the innocent cry out from their graves for the world to take notice about how they were killed and murdered. Justice demands that we do something. Because justice is what we do in this country. And that's just the way it is. Thank you very much.